Hi everybody, this is Cardboard Pie back with another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to add images and icons within your Unity UI to improve your UI. So here I have this little demo scene to show kind of what I'm talking about. So here we got this prompt that just says we can use the left analog stick to move around. And here it says we can use the A button to jump. And X to say Kumbokum. And that's pretty much it for this demo. Let's jump into the actual tutorial. All right, now that we're in this new empty scene here, I'm just gonna do some things with the camera. I'm gonna change it from Skybox to Solid Color. I'm gonna change the color to be slightly darker. This seems like a good color for me. We're gonna to need to add some text in here. So let's go to UI, Text Mesh Pro. Let me adjust this. As seen here, put in 2D text. We're just gonna align it at the bottom, center it. All right, so now we need to get the actual images to put into our text. So we're gonna be using something called rich text in Unity. So we need to use the lesson sign. I'm gonna type sprite, equal sign, and then a number. I'm gonna do zero. So by default, what Unity uses is the text mesh basic one, which I think is like a emoji one. I'll talk about how we adjust those later, but for right now I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna do use sprite to do something. So now we're going to add some text. So I'm gonna go into where I store my images. So let's go to import new asset. This is just gonna be a texture sheet or image sheet, my bad. So it just has all these different images. We need to go to change it to Sprite 2D in UI and do multiple and apply. So now we open the Sprite editor. Uh, all we need to do now is just do automatic slicing by cell size or cell count. If you've aligned uh, your, your image sheet in a specific way, but I'm just gonna do automatic because it does a good job. So then all we do is apply it turns all those images into multiple ones here and then we just right click on it go to create and go to text mesh pro and click sprite asset and it's going to make a sprite asset for us and if we click on the sprite glyph table it's going to show us all the icons and images that it was able to extract all right so now we can go back to our text mesh pro we can go down here where it says extra settings click on it go down to where it says sprite asset you can drag and drop or just click it. This Xbox button layout is the one we're going to be using. And you can notice that B button is not aligned properly. And that's fine. That's expected. All we need to do is go back to the sprite glyph table on our Xbox button layout. Click on this. It allows us to adjust the X position, the Y position, the width, the height. Uh, I don't really mess with the AD because that, I think that's something to do with spacing or something. Uh, you can mess with the scale. So I'm just going to revert all that. Usually what I like to do is adjust the BX to zero, manually adjust the Y till I find something that looks good. Something like, I think I'll do 50. That looks good to me. Maybe if you want the buttons to be a little bit smaller, you can make it like that. I'm just going to keep it at 0.1. And so since I have a similar shape for these buttons, I'm just going to assign the same values. So now I'm just going to check how it, it looks with all the buttons. So if we go up here, if you notice, this has a zero here, and this is also what we're saying as sprite zero. And if we did sprite one, it should relate to the A button here. So I'll just show that off. Because now I want to check the other ones because I want to check all the similar shaped images. So they seem to look fine. And then we're going to get to the new shape. So now we just need to adjust that within our sprite a table again. Set that to zero. I'm actually going to scale this down, which I think. 0.75, lift it up a little, 
This one's 50 as well. All right. I'm just going to do the same thing here. 50. Okay. And then once again, I'm going to go through the rest of these and just adjust accordingly. And then I'll come back in just a moment. All right. So now I just finished up aligning everything. I'm just going to show it off real quick just to make sure all the buttons are aligned properly. I'm going to skip some, but you get the idea. I have uh, 16, so that's fine, up to 16. So that's pretty much it for adding images and icons into your UI. Hope you guys like this video. See you guys later. Um.